Okay, today we're interviewing Johnny All and Grant Williams, and we're going to discuss the early Legion and maybe some of the things the Legion has done up until maybe some of the present day. But there's so much history of the Legion because it's been 90 plus years that it's been here, so there's lots of history behind it. So, John, you could mention then you said it started earlier, before 45. Yeah, before 1945, yeah, because there was a bunch of old ones. I think um, we had a barber a guy there that uh, used to, was in it because he was in the First World War. And uh, and the other ones uh, were all, all around me, you know, the, some of the old guys. So you started the Legion but before you had a hall? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Much. Uh, yeah, our first charter was 1927. Yeah. Oh, okay. In yep. fact, our, uh, in fact, we weren't actually branch thirty-two. We were branch twenty-seven yeah. or something. Right? Yeah, at one time when they first started. Wow! But then they had money to build down by the Nipigon Bridge. I remember yeah. seeing that foundation that there. That right? foundation they had there. Yeah. And I don't know. Something happened. Somebody took off with all the money or whatever. And, Oh. And they never did. Well, there wasn't a heck of a lot, but it was yeah. enough to get started anyway. Right. Yeah, they got that far, and then yeah. they had to uh, wait until they got that property. I, I think they got that off Toy Valora. No, John. Johnny Sallow? John yeah. Sallow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned again you used to have meetings in the church hall yeah. in the Nipigon Inn basement. Mm -hmm. Any other places you can think of? Well, uh, I used to be some places, there, but they're not even there anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So did it, can you remember back, did you have to have big fundraisings then to build the hall? No, we never had a, a big fundraising there. We bought the building off of, uh, Oh. he, um, he had a, a, a barn there. Uh, what the heck was his name? Uh, Gordon's. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we're going to make it in, you know, uh, make a uh, make a place into another uh, hall, you know. Okay. But geez, we started tearing the thing apart there, and it was, oh, uh, who the hell is going to sit in here and smell that horse, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they gave that up, and... Uh, uh, Earchuck, he was right. here for a while, li living in Nippigan, and he's from Beardmore, actually. And he he got the money uh, on credit from from the guys in Thunder Bay. You know the uh, the guys with some uh, some of the buildings there, stuff there. So that's where we got started. Was it built with volunteers, or did you yeah, hire people? Yeah, all volunteers. Yeah. John Barton put all the cement work, eh? Yeah. And he did all, it was all yeah. cinder bricks. Right. And when we remodeled in, in 1977 there, yeah. we took one wall out, and old Sam was sitting there, and, he, and somebody said, well, let's save the bricks, you know, like, you know, maybe use them somewhere else. <laughs> He said, you ain't going to save those bricks. He said, I put that up. He said, when it comes down, I all come down. Ah. So he had to just smash yeah. everything. Yeah. Sam did lots of cement work around oh, yeah. town. Oh. Lots, lots of cement work yeah, around town. Yeah. Sure. He's a very yeah. good mason, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so it was always two stories when you built it, right from no, the no. beginning? Oh, one story. It was one story. Yeah. And then we made it into two stories. Now, because the club rooms upstairs were used for many, many, many things. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. think somebody told me once they used to go to dances up there and you could kind oh, of yeah. feel the yeah. floor. Yeah, we used to have to put, yeah. put, put a big pool up. table in there. We used to put brace in the, in the middle of the pool table and put uh, poles up in the middle. Because so, if you were sitting in there, you could see the, the room was dancing, yeah. you could see the floor just the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it was unreal. Yeah. And was there an Elks Hall when you had the Legion? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you had the two halls here then for, for events then. Okay. I just think if you can maybe think of other events that went on 
up there because it was very how very well used. Well, there'd be there. lots of weddings up there. I remember, yeah. remember uh, Jimmy Nichols' wedding was up there. So was mine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And then we uh, started uh, our uh, legion. Uh, what do you call it? Um, Buy a brick for the new hall, eh? Oh. Yeah. This was for the first hall? No, the one, the, the, the one. The that, extension. Yeah. Yeah, the one up there. Okay. That, that was in, what year was that? That would be 1961 or 62 or something? No, I'd say 70. 71. 70, 70, that's it. 71. Okay. Cause, 72. Uh, my, uh, the first wedding in there was Dawn and Alice, Dorian's daughter. Oh. And me and my wife were the second second wedding oh, wow. uh, in the new hall. Oh, yeah. yeah, so buy a brick. That's That was quite a popular. Supper was only $450 yeah. for the supper. How much? $450 for the supper. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe $2,400 nowadays, eh? Oh, my God, I wouldn't want to see what the <laughs> price is now. So in a part of that then, of course, I'm thinking Legion, but also the Legion Auxiliary then. Was a big part of doing those oh, things. Oh, geez, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they were. The Legion Auxiliary were really on there. Yeah, when they, we lost them. They were working them, hard, was, yeah. Yeah. That was terrible. That, that's just like at the Red Rock there for crazy. Yeah. The Legion girls are keeping that going. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, they did so much catering in their day. Yeah. So much catering in their day. We were we were lucky to have them and the Elks ladies. Eh? There was two of them that were yeah. always catering to oh, something. Oh, we used to have lots of them, old girls, Ada Stanley, eh? Linus Gagne. And mm -hmm. I remember Grace Friskin was very active Grace Friskin was there. the boss of the kitchen. That was her kitchen. Your, 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 yeah. your mother, she used to be My mother doing did a lot of catering there. Yeah. My mother was president for many years. So yeah. So was my wife. My wife got lots of years in there. Yeah. So, so do you think that um, there would have been a time when you had like a hundred members or a couple of hundred members? Or oh, we had quite a few members. Yeah. I I don't know. I didn't tell. I when, when I was president, I think we had eighty. Um, that was just men, like right, you know, right, around eighty. And, and I just remember the, and years. the ladies. The ladies had quite a few too. Mm -hmm. Right. I just remember the years that the cenotaph was opposite the, the uh, Hudson Bay store mm -hmm. yes, when I, I first came. That's yeah. the first, it's, I, I always to... was surprised that that ended up there and not not closer to the Legion, but maybe it was there before the Legion. I, I think it was. Eh? Yeah. I think yeah, because I think at that time uh, Martin House was still there in the corner there. Yeah. Wasn't it? Oh, yeah. okay. I just remember that. They had no thing. place around to put it. I guess, and I guess CPR said we could lose their, their property, property there. Yeah, I have pictures of that, that one. I oh, just I still remember, remember in Boy Scouts, galoshes on there, six feet of the six inches of snow sloshing yeah. through yeah. there. And I can yeah. remember the RCMP being there yeah, in those days sure. as well. Yeah, they were always at the. I don't know why they ever quit that. They looked so so snappy there on yeah. Remembrance Day all the time. And I, and I just think it was really neat that they actually paraded in those days. Mm -hmm. from yeah, the we set. marched all the way from the Legion all the way. Yeah, yeah, here. all the way down. Mm -hmm. and back again. what kind of weather it was. Yeah, yeah. And back again. Yeah. So the the other one then was built after I don't even know when it had to be in the late sixties then. Another cenotaph. Yeah, I think it's written on that. Plaque in the back there, Homer. Yeah. John Salo, when did he give you that? And then that's what that. we just said, John Salo donated that yeah. property, property there. Yeah. Right, right. Because there is that other nice plaque at the back of the cenotaph on that wall mm -hmm. that tells a little bit of history there. Yeah. yeah. So that, oh, there, okay, there's another one then. Sam Barden did that cenotaph. Yeah. Yeah, that first cenotaph there. Yeah, he was involved, he was involved in that. I remember his uh, yeah his granddaughter commenting on that. Yeah, so it stood up for a long time. Yeah, and then they had they had it hooked up for lights and everything on that. Yeah, but then vandalism and stuff like that. You know, right. it's a shame you can't keep nothing. Right, right. 
Right. No, it was a it was a nice cenotaph on that corner, and it was an ideal corner in town to have yeah, the cenotaph. Yeah, nice spot. Yeah, nice spot there. Right. So when you added the um, added the long haul on the Legion, was there a reason, like because it was so busy, or? Well, we made it, and it was, and it was all electric heat. The whole thing was lucky. That was when Hydro said he used Hydro for all uh, his work. Yeah. And then we had all these guys working for Hydro, and Gene Leonard, and right. all them guys. And, uh, oh, there were lots of electricians there. Yeah. And they all chipped in and did lots of... Lots of volunteer labor. Lots, lots of kind oh, of yeah. boys worked in there and did lots of... Yeah. And they used to come in all the time and do their shopping, eh? And they'd come to the Legion and... Do their shopping as Eckners, and then they come over and party till closing time, and <laughs> yeah. head for home, head to the Gulf to have something to eat, and then head home. Right, right. Oh, which you wouldn't want to try nowadays. Cause. No, but it is neat in those days, even from the arena to the to the curling club, even to the Legion, that so many volunteers yeah. in yeah. this town put in time. Put in time to do things. Yeah, then um, when they started the, the festival. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. When they started that festival, it was lots of volunteers. We used to have to go. I remember my dad was ch chairman, chair chairman. And we used to have to go around to all the schools and get the chair. From high school, Red Rock Public School, Nippingham Public School, St. Edward's School, all them all. And then yeah. Nick Dahl used to give us the little. Bun wagon, yeah, I called it the little Lincoln Freightways vehicle. And right. Just to fill that up. and. So that was about 1965, then, that the 64, 65, that the, the fishing was, festival right. started. And that was, again, a group of guys that worked at the liquor store, right? Yeah. Yeah. We Harold started Lundstein. talking yeah. about it. Harold Rose Gillen and Gene Lund and. Um, Rose Gillen. Rose Gillen, yeah, was one of the main people about that. So, so that's I, a tribute to the Legion, really that they started something that is still here, yeah, even well, though the Legion isn't really involved. And, and, and our Legion used to go to um, up there uh, at the lake, up there uh, in... Uh, at Polly Lake? Polly Lake, yeah. Uh, you know, at, at different times to have a meeting there, you know, or, or get together or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and they had the Polly Lake Fish Derby and that. Yeah. I think they had a booth out there. So the fishing festival was born through the idea of a couple of Legion men, really, mm -hmm. who wanted to just have, yeah. I think it was just to have a celebration uh, yeah, in Nipigan. it, it was Boy, oh man, did it ever take off. Right. But a lot of work was involved in that. Yeah. Yes. A lot of, we had a lot of workers, boy. Yeah. 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 But, and I, I still, the one that I remember is the fact that people don't realize that that first or second canoe race that Jimmy Friskin ran started at Polly Lake. Started on the public beach at Polly Lake and came down to the dock. Because later years it started at Alexander Landing. Yeah. yeah. But it started the first couple and we had lots of canoeists that came from the States um, to take part in those canoe races. And geez, uh, when they went underneath that bridge, boy, I'm telling you, there, some of them were got picked up there, you know, before they went into the, the eddy there. Yeah. And that was the place to go and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah. see if anybody tipped over. Yeah. Yeah. No. Holy. And it was too bad that it ended because canoeing and kayaking are quite popular now, but again, the liability. Yeah. I guess. It's a liability now, yeah. Yeah. Liability for everything. Yeah. I mean, just think of trying to have that flower packing contest today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, I still yeah. remember that. <laughs> yeah, my dad used to help with that, and well, it was him and somebody else who put they put on Dave McCabe yeah. from Red Rock. Yeah. There was yeah. six hundred pounds they put on his back. And Roy Harper, I could never, re <laughs> I could never they, think of Roy lifting uh, that. They, he carried that. Oh, yeah, had to have to go what fifty feet or something like that, or thirty feet. Yeah, things that you you. And then the arm wrestling and all and that. The arm too, wrestling. Yeah. yeah. And it still ended, I think, hey, when that lady broke her arm and everybody in the arena could hear the crack. <laughs> mm -hmm. But those were the days and those were the things you could do then. Yeah, but you, oh boy, yeah. And yeah. you always had legions from Thunder Bay come 
for the parade, right? Yeah. 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 My dad used to bring us. He used to have the Elks column band on the back of his float bed he had for the truck. Right. But they always came down, they always took part, and they always had a social at the Legion yeah, after. Yeah, after, yeah. Yeah, it was all free chili. And yeah. 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 All, all free booze. Well, booze too. Yeah. Right. And the kids all got free pop or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah down the arena there were hot dogs yeah. and pop. Hot they dogs got. and pop, yeah. And that was the Legion Auxiliary ladies had the hot dogs down there for a lot of years. Yeah, a yeah best of... hot dogs in town, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, there's lots of things that the Legion... Can you remember any other big things that the Legion contributed to? Well, they bought the first ambulance in the beginning. Right. That was from Clark Motors, I think, eh? Yeah. Van, 1968 van, I guess it was, Chevy van. And that would have been volunteer, right? Yeah, volunteer people that, yeah, that, that ran that. Yeah, they didn't have no... Uh, Paramedics in those days. Yeah, those you know. days we could give a car away for two thousand dollars. Right. Yeah. Or even yeah. a little less, even. Oh yeah, yeah right up to the mid '60s, the yeah. car was only three thousand yeah. bucks. Yeah. And I can remember John Zector going around selling tickets right to the very last minute, before the draw was yeah. made in the arena, and he would be there uh, selling tickets like yeah. that. Remember Charlie Swashla buying a whole bunch. Of I think he was going to win that car one time. Yeah. Hey, remember, what did he buy? 100 tickets or... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but another contributor like that was was Grant Willen. If the, nobody bought the tickets, he'd buy all the books he had in the, in the uh, shop. He was a real supporter of the fishing festival. Yeah, yeah. lots of guys like that. Yeah. yeah. And in those days, I don't know if you remember John and Grant, but if you sold tickets, you got your name on the back of the ticket, and if it was a winning ticket, yeah. you got a commission or yeah, something yeah. for selling the tickets. Because... Dorothy Carbridge worked at the at the Canadian Tire. She was a big ticket seller. I can remember her selling a lot of tickets yeah. for the for the festival. But you gave a lot of money over way over the years. Yeah, well, I remember going to Thunder Bay to sell tickets for mm -hmm. the festival. Me and Ted Martin I went up there. Sometime. I remember going way up to uh, Long Lac even. Selling tickets. Yeah. Yeah, because people came from all over to fish. And they still do, eh? Yeah. Fishing derbies are still are still pretty big yeah. drawers. Yeah. Right, right. And it's evolved a little bit. And what are some of the other things that were in those first few events? Log sawing, likely. Yeah, log sawing. And it was hardball or fastball? Fastball. Fastball. Yeah. Fastball. That was... Big time, eh? Yeah. That was big time, yeah. Yeah, big time. Yeah, for sure. Things change, and, and it's a, a shame, but liability killed yeah. a lot of oh, yeah. the things that we really enjoyed in those days. Used to be the horseshoes, too. Right. Big yeah. horseshoe tournaments, eh? Yeah. yeah. So we'll continue with a little talk about the Legion and John and Grant remember the time that the ladies auxiliary yeah. bought a van and just explain yeah. them what it did. Mm -hmm. John? They, they were uh, supplying rides to the, the hospital or I don't think they went to Thunder Bay, just to no. the hospitals here. Yeah. And, and then it, if we needed, if we used to go to meetings in Red Rock or something, yeah. we used to get on that, yeah. the way we go. So now describe it again. If we had a meeting in Red Rock. No, like, uh, you're telling me about the van. Oh, or, it was just uh, like the band they had for the bridge here. Well, okay. They, it hold 20 passengers, I guess, 21 passengers. Yeah. Oh. Like, a, like okay. yeah. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, they, oh, they paid the maintenance on that. Mm-hmm. And, and it got too expensive for them too. They, mm, you know, like yeah. they weren't making the big bucks like they were. You know, the hall rentals were going down. The catering had yeah. sort of died off, so they couldn't afford to keep it going anymore. And how did you say they raised the money for that? Through uh, Nevada, yeah. selling Nevada tickets at the Legion and and at uh, at the Four Way Variety. Okay. I, yeah. Wow. 
Uh, that was a big undertaking, and it's still... Oh, they made big bucks from that, yeah. Yeah. It's, but, I mean, they spent big bucks, too. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, because the Legion of Xori was always giving donations to the Legion yeah, yeah, itself yeah. for things as well. And the Legion, they gave a lot of money to the hospital, too. Yeah. yeah. Yes. There's lots to the hospital, lots to the... Arena. Arena. Yeah. The curling club. Mm-hmm. Right. So what would you think would have been the main way that the Legion raised their money then, Grant? Well, we sales. we made it when we were uh, we when we had our uh, what do you call it the uh, fish derby there the festival yeah oh because you got a cut of it yeah right because we were the only ones that run it that's yeah we were uh, the only ones that run uh, it so first, we kept right. we kept so we the whole had thing. all the, I remember so uh, one time we got nineteen thousand you know for the year that remember, was what I it was called remember the dance itself at the uh, right. The dance itself brought in twenty six thousand dollars one night. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, another thing. Just the dance itself. The yeah. big dances we should have there at the arena. Yeah, yeah. right. I'd forgotten about that because the first was Nipigon Legion Fishing Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah it right. was for quite a while. Yeah, mm -hmm. for quite a while. Well, I forgot about the dances. You're right, and there's still people who talk about those. They'll never happen again. But oh. imagine we took all those booths out of there. And that's when you said you yeah, had to haul the chairs. All the chairs. Mm -hmm. Then they get all yeah. mixed up through the night. Then we're going through them the next day, and oh my God. <laughs> Quite a job. So yeah. well, and they all had to be back for school on Tuesday morning. So you're dashing around there Monday, and you're getting people to get up. Hey, hey that chair's got to go, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't right. sit on there today. Right. But you know, that was, that was the highlight, I think, all year, wasn't it? Was the dance. Oh, gee, what the it sure was. Dance. I remember one time it was uh, was cut off one, one time for a couple hours there because it... Bomb scare, yeah. Bomb, bomb scare, scare, yeah. Right, right. They couldn't let anybody in. Yeah. I've got pictures they, of everybody they, lined up were, right, yeah, right, right piled along up. the road. They're all along the road there for a mile. <laughs> mile. <laughs> and I often wonder, what did the police do to check the place that there wasn't a bomb there? Like, that it's whole big arena. Road. Yeah. How could you look all through that? Yeah. yeah. Well, that place was well built. That would never fall down. Yeah. No, but where would you go looking to find a bomb in yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, you remember the year that John Harding yeah. got yeah. hit over the head when he was taking the money home yeah. from the dance. Yeah. Yeah. I remember he broke his glasses, and the committee had to buy him new glasses because they got smashed. And, yeah. But they did find the guy, which yeah. was fortunate. He, he didn't run too far. He ran up Green Mantle Drive. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, lots of, uh, lots of funny things that yeah. happened. And I mean, the, the, it wasn't funny, but when we're yeah. talking about canoe races and, and going under the bridge, I think the last was when Dennis Cassidy turned over in there, and he thought he wasn't going to come back up again. Yeah. Yeah, horseshoes were quite popular. Now, they had horseshoes again this year. They didn't get the big turnout, but they did have horseshoes this year. Mm -hmm. it, was a big, it was a big thing. And I mean, when you talk about the fish, even look how the fish has evolved to not having every category now. Well, yeah, and uh, those years we used to have the fish all uh, piled up in, in uh, the arena wall there. On the rocks. Yeah. yeah. Right. And Dave Banning and them would put them in ice and take them home at night, bring them back the next day. Well, bring them and put them in the Legion cooler. Oh, was yeah. that where they were? Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. A bit of smell, eh? But it was. Yeah. Lots of different then people. Then bring them out and pile them up again. Yeah. yeah. I guess it wasn't very sanitary. <laughs> but that's what everybody went to see, Grant. Yeah. And now they go just to look at the name on a piece of paper. They don't yeah. see the yeah. fish. Yeah. Yeah. If you had yeah. somebody who could really take quick pictures or something. And Max yeah. Martin used to be the mostly yes. uh, looking yes. after the fisher. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes. Big Max. Yeah. 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 Lots, lots of fishing. I remember him getting into a fight in the Legion over. Somebody wanted to know where his fish was. And in those <laughs> days, you remember that um, the. The, the weight for the winning fish was always drawn, put in a sealed envelope, and the bank manager always kept that weight in a vault. Yeah. And until the day of the uh, of the weigh-in, and then it was then you knew who was closest one. That was a yeah. mystery weight. And why did we change the mystery weights? Can you remember, John? 
I don't know why. I can remember why. Well, one of them was that somebody crawled over the fence at the fish hatchery and brought in a great big fish from the fish hatchery <laughs> because there was big prizes for first for first place then. Mm. And so that somebody came up with the idea of, of a mystery weight. I remember that, yeah. And, and it was. It was a time that, that they weighed that big fish, and when somebody went out, it had been dropped in the ditch, and all those uh, buckshot fell out of it. They oh, had filled it with weights oh, so that they rocks. could, yeah. There's a lot of people catch them in nets, too, eh? Yeah. And freeze it and then try to unthaw it. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of stories about yeah. the fish, that's for sure. Yeah. But there was a time when the m and were part of it, and they would cut the fish open and take samples of it to see where it came from because some people didn't want to tell you where they got their fish, but the m and were a big part of it yeah. for quite a few years. Yeah, yeah. And it's changed now because brook trout was one of the main ones that we we honed in on, eh, for fishing. And now you can't uh, catch them now. Yeah, lots of, lots of changes for sure. I think the fishing festival is one of the most successful stories for yeah. the Legion that people do not realize that that the legion started it yeah for sure yeah any other little things grant you can think of that well, i had something there but it went poof i talked too much and so you forgot it you threw me off my train of thought there i had something just almost thinking there. Um, i'm just thinking too when you had that um extension was that lakehead freightways property that you ended up we bought that, yeah. Oh, yeah. you bought that yeah. from yeah. them. Okay, I remember going over that way. Yeah. Yeah, we were going we right up to the fence. We were going right to the fence. Oh. Yeah. You wouldn't think so. You know? <laughs> 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 oh, my, pile no. all our stuff on that. I mean, it, nobody uses nothing there. Anyway. So the, the, newer, time, eh? the, the newer section would have been built, though, by a company? Or was it volunteers again? Uh, I don't know who did the steel work. I don't know if Tom Jones did that or what outfit did that. I couldn't think of, can't think of any. All electrical was done from guys, local guys from mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, it, uh, it was a big undertaking to, to build that and, and it, and it still looks really good. It's, it's lasted really well. Well, that trazzle floor, that was the best thing they ever put in there. Right. Right. And it's e it's easy to clean and it's very serviceable. Well, isn't it? I remember yeah, one time we, property, were, yeah. we had a flood there and, it, and the the legion got flooded out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. where the that first little <laughs> office where where you go in. Uh, yeah, right. Porsche, that used to be the office in there, right? Yeah. Oh, one time in the '59 when we had the big flood there, I bet you there was about a foot of mud in there. Yeah. Oh, I never, I don't, I remember coming down that hill, hurrying that, but I didn't know that it flooded. Oh, yeah, the and Gerlach's garage and everything. Ah. Yeah. And there, I, I just know that the, the Legion are very big supporters of all those youth groups, from the Sea Cadets to the Brownies, yeah. Cubs, Scouts, and Guides, at one time always met in the hall there. Yeah. Legion was very supportive of them. And the Legion also used to have a Christmas party, right? Yeah, yeah. Kids. They, they had used to they used to have a show when we had the theater. They, they used to sponsor a show, free popcorn for the kids. Right. Mm -hmm. You ever remember going there and they started out showing a film that was sort of a bit scary? I can't remember somebody dying in that, and there was so much ruckus in the audience that they turned the film off and they quickly found another film to show. <laughs> because the beginning of it, the kids were crying and everything. I can't remember the name of that show, but I remember that they had to turn it off and start again. Whoever had picked it had picked it, but didn't realize the beginning of it was so bad. But you're right, they gave away uh, lots of uh, popcorn yeah. and, and uh, chips and that. Well, we used, to have a, we used to go to Dublin, eh, when yeah. the, for a big picnic at Ike Much's camp down there. Okay. My dad had a three ton truck there and throw all the kids in the back. and. All kinds of hot dogs and pop and chips. And, and another thing, we should go down to uh, the rivers there in the, in the fall there for uh, catching smelts. Big gangs. Oh, okay. We, I think we even had a Legion bar down there even. <laughs> the first time. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's where you made your money. Yeah. 
And isn't that the truth? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's but, unfortunate. You know, you can't do that now, boy. <laughs> They'd have you closed right away. But there, everything went. Yeah, yeah. they had that. And the hall rentals you. and the dances and yeah. stuff like that. Made big bucks in those days. And let's face it, lots of volunteerism mm -hmm. to yeah. keep that yeah. hall lots going of, and the yeah, legion going. Of, and there was lots of veterans around then too. Eh? And they all yeah. started dying off. Oh, Johnny's about the only one left from right. World War II here. Right, right. So I wonder why some of the young vets that are back don't join the legion. You know, the, all the uh, Thunder Bay's got the same problem. A lot of the guys that were in. You know, Afghanistan and yeah. Iraq and all that, they just don't, they've seen enough. And I think that Vietnam War too, that that turned a lot of people off. A lot of people went strange over that one, boy. That was a scary war, that. So Sensing it's a shame, things. really. Because the Legion offered a lot of support over the years for the vets. Mm -hmm. So they must be looking elsewhere for support now. And then we didn't have that many here that really went into right. the service, you know? <laughs> yeah. So when they come back, you know, they always ended up going somewhere else because there's nothing around here. Right, of course. Especially now, there's nothing for them to come back here for now. Right. I never Unless thought... Unless you're a police officer or a m &R guy or something or a hydro guy. Right. Well, things change, but uh, yeah. the Legion is still here anyway. We're very thankful that it is because it's a, it's a service and it's a hall that... Uh, Mm -hmm. We can't have that hall closed because we don't have another one. So I'm, no. I'm sure that uh, the town fathers will uh, always lend an ear when there's a problem at the. Well, they they pay the uh, quite a bit of tax on it. Right. The, uh, like the the township there. Right. They need to because we don't have yeah, another they, hall. Yeah, uh, they help us lots on the taxes. Yep. Right. Okay, well, I, we appreciate the two of you coming and uh, giving us some insight. We chit-chat back and forth. Thank you. Mm -hmm.